Uh, all right, pop quiz I mean, time. Be- Who knows what IPA stands for? I do. I did my homework. Straight A student. India Pale Ale. That's what it stands for. Nice. But it's not Indian. Where does it come from? It actually comes from Britain. Because when the British soldiers were taking over India uh, way back in the day, they liked to drink a lot while they were sailing around Africa. Because that's a really big continent. It takes a really long time to sail around Africa. So... It was hot and it was muggy and they wanted some beer. Their beer ended up going bad because it didn't have enough alcohol or hops in it. So what are you gonna do about it? They decided to add extra hops and extra sugar to create more alcohol in the beer, um, which actually preserved it. It tasted really bitter and they maybe didn't love it at first, but sure to get them drunk. And that's what matters to them. Got the uh, River Bend pale malt, 11 pounds of that. So now we're adding in Crystal 60 and Munich malt. Some good way. I would have stopped at ten. I can't okay. count. So far, so good. Still at ten. We're gonna mash for sixty minutes. You want to kill the pump? <laughs> I don't kill it. Kill that pump. Kill that pump. What we got? Like twelve pounds of grain today. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so open the ball valve, we're all, we're all mashed in. Hit the pump. We'll just recirculate for 60 minutes. We will come back uh, after that and start our boil. Lots of high fives today, really feeling it. What should we do in the meantime? Drink our coffee, crack open a beer. We have beer with coffee in it, just saying. I don't drink a ton of coffee because I can't really do a lot of caffeine. Mm. But coffee plus alcohol, caffeine and alcohol, I feel like would balance out. out. So I just okay. come out super neutral. Yeah. Okay. Right? It's, uh, the blue. Oh, right here. The graveyard fields. Blackberries. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. Maybe. I was just at the graveyard fields picking blueberries yeah. last weekend. I kind of wanted to get an idea on the fruit beer porter because we're going to be doing the blackberries oh, in our yeah. porter. Mm. So. I wouldn't imagine blueberry and coffee going well together for some reason, but this really does. Great. It's like dessert. It's delicious, but it's not super sweet or anything. That's like a breakfast beer, honestly. Ooh, dangerous. Right. You could drink this beer with oatmeal. You probably just put oatmeal right in the beer. Just use it like milk. Perfect. Get the blueberries like immediately. The chocolate is more like in the finish. Yeah. I like their cans beer. too. Yeah, I do too. That looks super they cool. They do really cool artwork. Picking his berries. Is he? Oh, those berries right there. Multifaceted man. I feel like he he's wants like to running have it all, still. And he's getting it all. Yeah, maybe he's rinsing, rinsing the, the berries. berries off. 60 minute mash is done. Okay. Turn the pump off. Yeah. Sample for a pre pre boiled gravity. I'm just going to pull this guy up if you want to slide that guy okay. in. Oh, oh, oh. Is that missing? Yeah. By a lot? No, just a little bit. Okay. Sometimes life's messy. You make a mess. You gotta roll with it. <laughs> I mean, this is that our element is sealed. Yeah. For that very purpose right there. Exactly. Perfect. We have a 90 minute boil on this beer. So we're gonna let this drain, get it up to boil. Once this cools down, we'll take a gravity reading. Okay. And then this gives us plenty of time to measure out our hops. This, this may have been a no mess. Brew day. Minus, minus that. Minus that. Yeah. A little bit of a mess, but it's fine. That's not too bad. So I'm basically trying to dial in 
the beer smith settings, I want to see if our volumes are correct. Mm -hmm. Can you, are you able to see through there to see how much liquid yeah, we have? Yeah, we're a little bit more than six and a half, probably about six and two thirds. 6.75? Okay. Let's go with that. That's okay. six and three quarters. Yeah, well. So we're above six and a half, below seven. We're so bad at math. Oops. I would call it six and five eighths. Oh. Would that be like 6.8? No. No, it would not. <laughs> <laughs> we're pretty darn close. I think I think I got the settings where I need them. So, I'm gonna remove this bad boy. We've let this drain for 10, 15 minutes or so. Get as much sweet word out as we can. Um, and then we're still coming up to a boil, but we might as well get our hop additions weighed out and get this out of the way. Okay. Yeah, it's on the angle, so it should be all right. Looks like right it's a little over seven. Over seven. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Shit. <laughs> all right. I was hoping for 6.8 in our math. So I just need to adjust the grain absorption rate once more. Probably in between where I had it on the last beer and this beer. Pretty close. It's negligible. So we're getting closer. I think the next beer number should be like dialed in 100%. Good enough for homebrew. Good enough for anything. Right. This is the pre boil. It's at room temperature. It's been hanging out. Now reading it's a different story. Oh, it's pretty. It's story. hard to not look like a pirate when you're reading. Right? <laughs> it should be 1053. Exactly 1050. Okay. Which which is fine. Eh, yep. Maybe a slight bit above it, but. So we got a little bit more volume, not a ton, slightly under our pre ball gravity. I'm feeling really good about the numbers. I think this guy's gonna come out pretty, pretty good. Pretty. I'm just gonna put the lid on to help the uh, the boil come up. And we're gonna do a 90 minute boil. So once it starts boiling, set the alarm for 30 minutes and then we'll do our 60 minute addition. 90 minute boil, it's been boiling for 30. Okay. So we're at the 60 minute addition. We're gonna do 0.6 of an ounce of the nugget over there. Nugget. Get your nugget on. Perfect. Boom. Right on the money. There she goes. Cool. 15 minute addition. Ounce of mosaic, ounce of citra. R80. And then the uh, workbox tablet. Clear the beer out. Mm -hmm. Yep. Wherever. And then we're going to add that pound of sugar as well. Oh, all right. So this and is I'm doing what to it? It's going to increase the, the final gravity, which will give us a higher alcohol content. Mm -hmm. At uh, flame out, we're just going to do a steeping addition, another ounce of citra. And we'll kind of let that just hang out for 10, 15 minutes after the boil. Um, when you do that, you extract more, extract more of the oils. The boiling will actually you kind of lose some of the volatile oils. So you put it in afterwards. You, you can even you can even chill it a little bit down to like 160, 170, and add the hops then, um, and you might retain some of the other oils that could be lost to higher temperatures. And there's a whole scientific thing. It's on all that. science it's and all, stuff. Yeah. So, Smart people things. Yep. So less heat, more oil retention, better aroma. You get that, you know, that real nice aroma. So that's kind of what we're hoping for. So, uh, boils up. Boils up. Boils up. It's going to kill the, uh, element. I'm just going to turn the cooling water on. If we weren't dry hopping, we could just pretty much go right into the fermenter. All right. 170, y'all. Cool. So we're gonna add this last ounce of citra hops in the hop basket. And then we're gonna let that sit for about 10 minutes. Take a sample for final gravity here. Do you want to taste a little bit of this? The light. Mm. Oh, it's good. Graphic. <laughs> Sweet. I'll let that cool the room temperature and by the time those are steeping, we'll come back, take a final gravity reading and start getting everything into the fermenter. 10 minute steep is done. Uh, I'm gonna turn the cooling water back on. I wanna pitch around 65. Okay. So we're just gonna pop 
top this in here. Our groundwater is pretty warm, so I had to turn the flow down quite a bit. Wort is transferred. This is California Elise. We'll just be careful not to drop the uh, stir bar in there. Voila. Just a touch below 1065. What was the target? 1070. A little bit more liquid in here than I anticipated, which would explain why the gravity is down. Not much, a couple points. I'm happy with that. So I just need to take another look at the grain absorption for the mash, and then the boil off rates are a little bit, a little bit off too. So we're but, dialing it in. Yeah, I mean this will this will be good. Bitterness and everything, it should still be really balanced. Still better than on the ship. Bring it full circle. Bring it full like circle. Do. Right? <gasps> oh god. All right. That is fancy. That that is that man in there. Fancy scoop. That man in there. It's a double. You can uh, look good for you two fans. All 28 dudes out there watching. You look good for your boys. <laughs> Alright. So. Oh.